Okay, so to get back into some unfortunate, serious um, news and update, this is actually some, I guess, good news, I guess, off the back of this really terrible situation. But this is courtesy of BBC. It says Brianna Gay's um, killers have given, given a life sentence for her brutal murder. So I think most of you will be aware or know about this young trans person in the UK called Brianna Gay, who unfortunately was killed by two teenagers also. Um, I think it happened like last year or maybe the year before that. And it was a really brutal murder. I think she got stabbed like 28 times or something. Um, it happened in broad daylight also, like in the park somewhere. And it was a really heinous, cruel crime. And of course, when they um, went to investigate and find out who did it, when they invest when they eventually went to arrest the suspects they found loads of evidence on their phones and bits of paper that basically um pointed in the direction that this was mostly a hate crime and that both of the people basically um didn't like brianna deep down even though they pretend to be a friend especially one of the persons involved which is the girl they actually were plotting for her to you know for her murder for a while and they had the different other pieces of paper as well that they were plotting for other people's murder so it was a really tragic story and um, it kind of gripped the nation really for lack of a better term especially because there was a lot of conversation around whether this was the consequence of all of the hate mongering all of the culture war stuff that happens online and maybe this is like the consequence of it so far we haven't had any any real evidence to show that those kids were watching certain things whatever that led into this road but it is quite concerning that kids that young could have that much level of hate in them for somebody else you know a way of life or well, how they choose to present themselves or whatever it may be it is quite bizarre um but you have to also keep in mind one of the murders um one of the murderers was if i'm not mistaken i think he's got a developmental age of like seven or something even though he's like 18 and at the, or 17 or something along, along those lines and the girl herself has already got her own issue so both kids are not you know all the way there but still it's no excuse for what happened so you know um, rest in peace brianna gay and you know the good thing is that the killer's obviously been sentenced to life but still um crazy to see somebody so young be killed in such a heinous and cruel way especially by people who professly you know professed in their um documents and stuff and all the information and evidence that they hated her because of how she presented um so let's read the article itself it says brianna gay's killers have been given a life sentence for a brutal and planned and sadistic murder um scarlett jenkinson eddie ratcliffe murdered a 16 year old in the parking in Chessie in February 2023 to be fair it's pretty good that they've been able to wrap it up really fast if I'm not mistaken the kids were really you know for lack of a better term really dumb um in terms of how they planned the murder in terms of it being in broad daylight in terms of them running down the street with loads of cctv cameras and jumping on buses and all this sort of nonsense um and they basically arrested them the next day if i'm not mistaken the murder happened on whatever they arrested them literally the next day um so maybe that's why it's arrested so quickly but it's good that they they've put some closure on it because you know usually these type of things get drawn out so it's good there's some sort of closure and um the family i guess can try to move on I, I, i'm assuming there is no moving on but let's just continue mr justice yip said jenkinson was motivated by a deep desire to kill while ratcliffe's motivation was in part hostility to brianna's transgender identity she was given 22 years and ratcliffe was detained for 20 years which is quite rare for kids especially in the uk for an actual teenager to be given a life sentence is pretty rare usually a teenager will usually be given like a sentence in accordance with their age and then if they and then when they become a quote-unquote young person that sentence gets reviewed and then if they've obviously not behaved or they've not shown any remorse or whatever contrition then maybe some extra time gets added on because you know people the, the courts are not you know i'm not sure that this person could be a valuable member of society and re-enter society and shit but the fact that they gave him that sentence so early on is probably proof that within the investigation interviews you know whatever it may be um questioning sorry there was obviously a feeling from the police officers that these kids were you know this was intentional this wasn't some like crazy thing that just happened in the blink of an eye this was planned and um, premeditated all that malarkey so um i'm sure once the other details come out it'll probably be a bit more sick than what we actually know and probably a lot a lot more darker but these conversations do need to be had in out loud to be honest with grand these kind of things so we can stop these things happening again it continues both teenagers were 15 at the time imagine killing another kid at that type of age especially that level of hatred 15 years old 
Jesus Christ. Um, the murder, um, at the time of the murder, and are now 16, and could be seen um, staring straight ahead as the judge showed no visible reaction as they were being um, sentenced. Sentencing the pair at Manchester Crown Court, the judge said she did not want to dwell on the murder itself, but but, but it was brutal. With Brianna selling, um, sorry, with Brianna suffering 28 stab wounds. Taken together, um, the injuries point to a very sudden, sustained and violent assault. Sally, Brianna, um, can't have lost consciousness immediately and she must have been aware that she was getting attacked and obviously those are the two killers there um absolute scum of the earth to be honest so glad that they're going to be able to rot in prison for a long time Brianna's family was sitting across the several benches her father peter spooner nodded as jenkinson's sentence was handed down the killer's relatives were also present Jenkinson's mother could be seen crying at the hearing concluded Mrs Justice Miss Justice Yep said Jenkinson's fantasy to kill had become a reality when lured to Brianna Park could you imagine what it must be like in that small town for the for, for this girl's parents the one that killed the transgender girl imagine now what she has to move you're going to be looked at as a pariah of the local community that's a real horrible thing about you know these type of situations it's obviously you destroy your own life but you also end up destroying the life of your family who you leave behind. You know, you have no idea what they're going through day to day. Yes, you're going to be struggling. Yes, you're going what you're going through, but you deserve it because you did the heinous crime. Anything's coming to you is well deserved. But the family you live, you leave on the outside, I didn't have to pick up the pieces, especially if it's a small town, especially if they don't have the means or the money or the access or whatever to move somewhere else. They're not having to kind of pick up their lives in this small town and basically try and live a normal life when really they can't yeah i can only imagine how difficult that must be um it continues while well, she acknowledged that jenkinson had been driving force behind the plan and she said that she would be wholly wrong to treat uh, ratcliffe as being under uh, uh, scarlet's control i think this kid even though he's developmentally a bit slow they said in the interviews that he wasn't that slow you know they're trying to make it seem like oh there was something wrong with him and she was the mastermind behind the whole attack but from what they've been basically saying is that from the investigations and questioning he was clearly of sound mind enough to know right from wrong so clearly it's good to see that that was happening and you know the person wasn't able to get away with like acting like there's something wrong with them so they couldn't get a sentence which is always i've always felt like that's a real coward's way to go out right if you decide to do something that heinous and that hateful you should just you know you should basically be able to stand on your shit especially if you actually believe in what you're you know you actually believe the intent to what you actually believe in what you did and the intent behind it like then you know kind of you know trying to claim craziness and all that sort of stuff is just so cowardly it really really is um she added that the messages sent, sorry, um, it, she added that the messages sent by Ratcliffe were transphobic and dehumanizing, adding that he undoubtedly displayed hostility to Brianna based on her transgender identity. Um, in the victim impact statement read out in the court before sentences were handed down, Brianna's mother, Esther Gay, um, said that Jenkinson and Ratcliffe would always pose a danger to society. I would never want them to have an opportunity to carry out sadistic fantasies to another child. She added that the saddest thing to come to terms with was finding out that one of those charged with Brianna's murder was someone she believed to be her daughter's friend. Brianna's sister, Alicia Gay, also said she now struggled to trust new people as Brianna's friend who she trusted who ended her life. And that's obviously Brianna and Dare that unfortunately passed away. You know what the really sad thing about this situation, which I read also, that's really, really bad. Um, there was a crazy situation where I think the mum never actually met the friend, but heard the friend from Brianna. So I said, oh yeah, I've, met, I've been out with this person, went to McDonald's, da, 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 da. And the, the, the immediate thing that brought came to mind was that I, I just think, unfortunately, if you have a child that is vulnerable or that could be vulnerable because of how they identify because maybe developmentally how they are whatever it may be you probably do owe it to them to be very much in their business when it comes to their friends you can't just let them i guess i guess it's, it's hard to say this because when it's kids especially when it's teenagers you kind of want that independence you want that autonomy to kind of do your own thing but you kind of have to be you basically have to keep them one eye open and be aware of who the friends are and put a name to face and shit and have their numbers and whatever maybe or at least meet them 
so that you can be aware of who your kid is hanging around so that if something does happen you know where the point of contact is that's the only thing but the other sad thing about it forget that was that allegedly the killers had planned to murder somebody else there was another kid who planned to murder but that kid didn't answer a text to meet them somewhere and then the plan switched to brianna that's a really sad situation so can you imagine how you know um how um guilt i won't say guilty but how bad that kid that survived felt that didn't end up meeting him like absolutely crazy um brianna's father said that being the father of a transgender child had been a difficult thing to deal with but he had been proud to gain another beautiful daughter we were forming a new relationship and these two murderers have stolen that from the both of us um her stepfather wesley powers told the court that while brianna had a large online following in reality she was very lonely vulnerable and in need of a close friend and that's what they took advantage of you know imagine that so because i think that they shared some of Brianna's social media posts on TikTok and clearly bubbly, clearly somebody that enjoyed the limelight online. But like most people who are extremely extrovert online, in person, she was incredibly introverted and um, always kind of hanging out by, her, by herself and stuff, not really having much friends. And you can understand why. You can understand why a small town, a transgender kid, there's probably not enough, there's probably not even a lot of probably gay people in that in that small town let alone transgender so can you imagine how lonely it must have been to grow up in that small town with that kind of identity and sort of like struggling to sort of like come to grips with everything so that's a really tragic thing about it like imagine super bubbly online really popular big social media following everybody on there encouraged because you can imagine tiktok is very encouraging very kind of welcoming to people from all walks of life whatever type of way you kind of swing and then suddenly you, you when you put your phone down you're back to reality you're back to the cold hard world the cold dark harsh world and you know and now you're suddenly being set up by your friends you know what i mean for a heinous attack um both eddie and scarlett knew this and preyed upon her vulnerabilities acting as two predators in a statement um to the warrington guardian jenkinson's family said that they were truly sorry to brandon's family friends and those affected by this horror which has left their lives in turmoil in the last 12 months we've been beyond our worst nightmares as we've come to realize the brutal truth of scarlet's actions they added that they agreed with the sentences decision to name the pair and saying that our thoughts are with brianna and her family jenkinson's family also thanked esther gay for her incredible selflessness and empathy towards our family forever grateful for their overwhelming compassion that's quite nice because i wouldn't have that kind of compassion i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't be that forgiving or that compassionate to the family of you know the person that you know would murder somebody that i loved like it wouldn't happen but you have to give that mum esther gay a lot of credit um for basically holding her head up high and basically not putting any blame or ill attention onto the other family because it kind of really wasn't their fault yeah you know i mean they had no idea what the crazy daughter was up to in their flipping room um the 18-day trial heard how Jenkins and Ratcliffe had a fascination with violence and torture and murder. Uh, messages between the two showed that they encouraged one another to think about how they would um, actually carry out the killing. Both teenagers blamed each other during the trial. However, um, Deanna and Deanna here, um, here kc and um, prosecuting said jenkinson had admitted stabbing Brianna um to a psychiatrist after she was convicted mrs here said that she snatched a knife from eddie's hand and brian and stabbed Brianna repeatedly she said eddie had thrown Brianna to the floor and stabbed her three or four times then he panicked and said he didn't want to kill her so she carried on stabbing for a number of times so the boy started the shit he got scared in between um, got cold feet and then the girl carried on to quote unquote finish her job absolutely crazy man when asked how many she answered a lot she was satisfied and excited by what she was doing um a crumpled handwritten note a murder plan to kill brianna was found in jacobson's bedroom floor following the arrest notes were also made on serial um killers including jeffrey dharma richard ramirez and harold shipman jacobson also drew up a second kill list of the staff and the secure youth accommodation where she's being held which refers to names of people um caring for her but you know what's a really sad thing and crazy thing about these kids allegedly they were messaging messaging each other on whatsapp and they somehow thought that if you just delete a message it just deletes itself like that's it there's no other trace of it so they were having all these detailed discussions about who they were going to kill in their school all through whatsapp figured they just delete the chat it was gone it's like god almighty bro honestly the naivety and the foolishness of youth sometimes is just absolutely crazy but um again love and light solidarity 
goes um, out to Brianna Gay and her family. R.I.P. to Brianna Gay. Obviously, um, tragic, tragic situation. But I guess there's some you know solace in that the killers have now been brought to justice they're now going to be serving life in prison and most likely they'll probably will never get out of any kind of correctional facility in any way shape or form they probably will never end up being um you know valuable members or re-enter a valuable member of society in any way shape or form anymore going forward um which is good um kind of a life sentence in its own in that regard and yeah i don't know man i just hope this kind of in i hope this it probably won't but i hope it does kind of stem the tide of the nonsense debates that occur online regarding transgender people because i feel like it's so unnecessary you know a lot of the rhetoric and a lot of the bile or a lot of the fucking venom that gets spewed online in places like a lot of it is really coming from a point of like people wanting to exterminate people because they don't really agree with their lifestyle choices it's never really that deep and the unfortunate nature of it is that maybe most of us are just typing up online stuff that we don't like and you know screaming from our soapbox but sometimes all that vitriol and all that bile and all that violence and all that hateful speech sometimes has a reverberating effect and this is where it probably ends up maybe us older folk online are not really looking to fucking carry out anything in real life but sometimes those things can end up um you know can end up kind of traveling to other people um kids especially and then suddenly now it ends up in this type of situation which is really really unfortunate to flip and see so um rp to brianna gay and you know thoughts and feelings go out to her family thoughts and feelings go out to her entire family